Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The virtues of martyrdom and the status of martyrs. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in His ever glorious book to His Prophet, and the martyrs with their Lord will have their reward and their light. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. Attaining martyrdom is a great status and a lofty rank. It is the highest goal of noble people and the greatest wish of the honorable ones, as the martyr gives his pure spirit in a sacrifice for his religion, his family, and his homeland. Our Prophet, peace be upon him, wished that he would get martyrdom several times. He, peace be upon him, said, By him in whose hands my life is, I would love to be martyred in Allah's cause and then get resurrected and then get martyred, and then get resurrected again, and then get martyred, and then get resurrected again, and then get martyred. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, No one will wish to return to the world life after, enter, after he enters paradise except martyrs. They wish to return and be killed ten times due to the great reward they find. The Almighty Allah has uniquely promised martyrs great virtues and a sublime position as they will accompany prophets and the faithful worshippers. The Almighty Allah said, Whoever obeys Allah and the Messenger will be among those. He has blessed the messengers, the truthful, the martyrs, and the righteous. What excellent companions these are. Once the mother of Haritha ibn Suraqa, may Allah be pleased with him, came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and said, O Prophet of God, tell me about the status of Haritha. And he was martyred during the battle of Badr. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to her, O Umm Haritha, it is numerous gardens in the paradise, and your son has attained the highest one. Martyrs are selling their souls for the sake of Allah, and they trade highly profitable. The Almighty Allah said, Allah has purchased the persons and the positions of the, of the believers in return for the paradise. They fight in Allah's way. They kill and are killed. This is a true promise given by Him in the Torah, the Gospel, and the Quran. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, By him in whose hands my soul is, whoever is wounded in Allah's cause, and Allah knows well who gets wounded in his cause, will come on the day of resurrection with his wound, having the color of blood, but the scent of musk. Moreover, just as martyrs are, li are alive with their Lord, they are alive in the memory of their homeland, and the heroic stories will not be forgotten, no matter how long time that passes. The Almighty Allah says, Do not say that those who are killed in Allah's cause are dead. They are alive, though you do not realize it. It is reported that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, met me after my father got martyred and told me, Shall I give you news of what your father met Allah with? He said, Of course, O Messenger of Allah. He said, Allah does not speak to anyone except from behind a veil. But he brought your father to speak to him directly. He said, O my slave, do you wish that I give you anything? He said, O Lord, give me life so that I may fight for you a second time. So the Lord, the Most High said, It has been decreed by me that they shall not return. Jabir said, So this... Allah was revealed, so this ayah was revealed, do not think of those who have been killed in Allah's way as dead. They are alive with their Lord, well provided for. Moreover, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, when your brothers were killed at the battle of Uhud, Allah put their spirits in the crops of green birds, which go down to the rivers of paradise, eat its fruit, and nestle in lamps of gold in the shade of the throne. 
All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that a true martyr is the one who is sincere to his religion and his homeland, and he sacrifices himself for defending them. Such people refuse humiliation. This is why our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, He who is killed while protecting his property is a martyr, and he who is killed while defending his family or his blood or his religion is a martyr. We commemorate in these blessed days the glorious victory of the 6th of October when our brave soldiers showed the highest meanings of heroism and sacrifice so they won the honor of this world and the dignity of the hereafter and by this we renew in ourselves the meanings of sacrifice and sincerity to this great homeland we ask Allah to protect Egypt and raise its flag high among all countries of the world <laughs>